Welcome back. Your questions, your money, your business. And we want we keep up with the people who've been on this show and because we want to hear from you if you've been on and pitched your business. We you know want to see how your business is growing. So we have an update on a pitch that we took a while back. And let's take it. We can see that is Jordy and Sherry Sopern. Uh, we, we broke it up into a series of, of different ideas. That is bailout the game. And Jordy and his wife Sherry came up with that game. And here is how his business is doing. Jordy wrote me about a week ago. So Jordy has hired a corporate sales representative who is currently negotiating with a few large chains. The couple has also found and are negotiating with several sales representatives groups to get their games into retail stores around the nation. They're reviewing their contract with Books A Million, and a few online stores have also confirmed that they want to carry the game on websites <laughs> in the next month. And the first shipment of the games were sent out this week. Rock so and roll. Ba bail out the, the game. game. It was a really incredible game. And it's, it again, it's not just one game because there was so much outrage over the bailouts, the financial bailouts last year. Jordy, who's an architect, decided, hey, we can make a game out of this and make it fun. And we looked at it. It is an incredibly fun game. And there's somebody who's going to benefit by if the bailouts actually last longer and longer. Everyone else complains, but their business is going to grow. Well, he, we actually discussed that when he was then on the show. Then he could do the deluxe version and things Didn't like Monopoly that. Didn't Monopoly start in the Depression? It's kind of... Uh... It's a similar history. So, so. It, again, that's very true. I think, Danny, what do you make? Because again, yeah, well, it's, it's, it's heading in the right direction. It is. It's timing and creativity. They've coupled the two together, and they have a great marriage. So, um, <laughs> the, the, uh, the one of the things that's been fantastic to watch them. I've stayed in pretty close contact with them, and they are using social networking to the nth degree. And that has been one of the way they have gotten one of the primary ways they've gotten their word out. Mm -hmm. But they've also been on the street calling these companies explaining what their product is. They, have, they, they revamped their website, I think it was about two weeks ago. They have a killer website now that's very interactive, which is a big key to having, uh, having people become more interested in the product. Here's a good example of what the website looks like now. And Bailoutthegame.com. And, and you, can, you can interact on the site. So they've done a phenomenal job. They've really taken it out there. They're doing great. I have no doubt this is going to be a great can success. Can you play the game on the web yet? Uh, I believe you can play parts of the parts game, of but you cannot... You can't play the entire game. That's a new, that could be the next way to go. They, they just rework. They just rework that website, by the way. Yeah, and it looks it looks fantastic, and it's informative. Liberty Street Games is the name of the company. Bail out the game, John. Get in here. I love these guys. I, I I've been in contact with them too. They were the real deal when they're on the show. They're doing everything they can do, and to make a business successful, you can't view it as a job. You have to attack 24 hours a day. That's what our friends at the bailout game have done. They are. You saw the, the list of things that I went through about how they're attacking this from all different angles. Those were their two daughters, by the way, playing bailout the game. I think it's genius, though. I mean, you could use it in a classroom. There's still un unlimited roles for this thing. You, you weren't here that day? No, no, I missed it. I Jonas? I really don't think government classrooms are going to want this game in their, in their yes, game. Yes, they will. Private <laughs> schools? Private, private schools? Perhaps. My kids go to Catholic. I'll bring it in. This it's, is where our tax payers. It's very entertaining. <laughs> I know. And these, these investments... If these investments by the government, they're not, they're not disappearing anytime <laughs> soon. Exactly. We're like, it'll be around. <laughs>